If I may a little bit share some of our experience in Jakarta, uh, we have 11 million people in our city. And this is the place where you can see the richest family in the country mm. and also the poorest in the country. The most educated and the least educated. It's all in one place. So I adopted the principles, let's make sure that every policy we make, every facility we make is a policy and facility that can treat everyone equal. Right. Let me give you one example. For Department of Parks or Departments of Public Works, they never receive order about ensuring equality in your policy. Right. Usually it's making sure the infrastructure is, is good, mm. uh, sidewalk is well, you know, the roads. Suddenly we're talking about equality. Right. And people say, what do you mean by equality? Let's make sure that our road is for all mode of transportation. For pedestrian, for bicyclists, for two-wheelers, mm. for four-wheelers, and also for public transport. Right. And it's called complete street. Why? Because we need to facilitate everyone not only the four-wheeler that has dominated our street for so many years yes but also make sure for cyclists so suddenly we adopted the, the, the policy of building a bike uh, route across the city and suddenly people started to do biking mm. and we have been seeing in the case of Jakarta tenfold number of people riding bicycles on daily basis. Oh. Why that is the case? Because we then realize that when we uh, produce an infrastructures, it has to meet all segments, not only one or two segments.